All right, folks, once again, it's closing day up at our custom home we built up here on Wilson Court in St. Mary's. A um, few notes here on the exterior. We will take you in for the full tour today, but just before we do go in, a uh, few notes on the exterior. The customer really wanted to have this white look, kind of like a farmhouse uh, look out here. We've spaced out our board and batten vertical siding at 16 inch on center just to give it a little bit more of a clean look. We've done some nice windows up here above the uh, garage door. Um, so the black on white is a really nice look and then we've sort of accented it here with a little bit of warm wood grain uh, up in that open gable there so yeah and then we've got stone all across the front here in this skirt and then just matched everything in uh, with the trims there so uh, we'll take you inside and show you around. Just as we walk up onto the front porch, you've got this nice cathedral ceiling up in here uh, with the timber frame beam there. So uh, just carrying that nice uh, vertical siding all the way up. And uh, we've just got this door here painted in a nice gray color. So sticking with that sort of black and white and gray theme with a little bit of uh, uh, accenting there. So we'll just take you in through the front here. Uh, we come into the front foyer. And uh, just as we enter here, there's a nice little front foyer area. And then these stairs obviously go down to the basement, which is finished. So we'll show you that in just a little bit. Um, and we'll take you through here. Um, right off the front foyer, we've got a what will be like an office space slash den. We've also got this uh, three-piece bathroom in here. So this is sort of like the main bathroom of the house. It's got a 60-inch uh, acrylic shower here with a seat. Um, good size little vanity here, um, wall mounted lights, sort of standard issue stuff there. We've got uh, the toilet there of course, which we always need, and then some kind of cool flooring here, uh, vinyl flooring in there as well. So then this front room here, um, as I said, it's going to be used kind of as an office. It could be a bedroom. It does have a full closet in it as well. And just while we're looking at that, we might as well look at, so in this house, we've got, um, these Weiser Toluca levers in uh, satin nickel, uh, with this three panel, uh, craftsman three door panel style, which has been uh, super popular lately. And then of course looks out the front window to a couple other Bickle built homes across the way. So um, that's kind of nice too. And a uh, nice big window there um, to let some ni nice uh, natural light in as well. Just across from me here, we've got um, just a linen closet, which sort of will service the guests if there is any for this front area. So then we walk into the house and come into this open floor plan here. Um, so of course we've got open floor plan. Um, we've got living room dining room, kitchen. Um, so we'll start with the kitchen here. Um, and you'll notice this theme throughout um, that you know we saw the vertical uh, board and batten on the front of the house. We've got some of those themes throughout and that's uh, uh, evident here on the range hood. Uh, they wanted to sort of carry that theme forward. And even down in here, the beading on the uh, island just gives a little bit of a nod um, to that vertical line stuff there so back in here i'll show you the pantry in just a minute um, but we've got a nice good size island here as well with some sit up so there'll be some uh, stools and whatnot that will go up to that quartz countertops as well so nice shiny quartz countertops here they got a kind of a cool speckle uh, that you can see depending on what angle the light's hitting it at and so on um, over here we've got a undermount sink so one compartment undermount sink, which is a nice touch as well. And of course it's onto the centered onto this window here uh, to let in a little bit more natural light there as well. And then we've done this nice tile backsplash uh, just to sort of finish it off as well. Um, we'll take you into the pantry here. And in the pantry as well, see if I can get a light on here. We've got a couple plugs, which uh, we've had uh, quite, we've done quite a bit of over there. The years, lots of storage, a little bit of a countertop in here. So the idea is, is that, you know, you have your toaster and your coffee maker and all that stuff sort of hidden away in the pantry and then lots of storage with shelving above uh, and below there on the floor as well. So uh, these pantries just keep getting more and more advanced, that's for sure. 
Okay, so just in behind me here, we've got the dining room. Um, again, good big window out to the side yard here. The dining uh, terrace door uh, goes out into a covered porch. So uh, they've just done a couple of pot lights up in here. So that leaves some versatility for exactly where this dining room table can go. It can kind of move around. If there's company over, you can extend it out, all that kind of stuff. Um, so versatility is key. And just while we're here, I'm just gonna take you out to the back porch as well. And uh, got a little bit of a covered area here at the back, so there'll be a barbecue, I assume, and whatnot here. And then the porch does extend out beyond that as well. Um, and there's the backyard. So future patio will be down in here. And then we've got a little bit of landscaping work uh, to finish off there, but a nice backyard. And uh, you can see down all that white continued on down the side there as well, or sorry, down the back as well. And uh, nice area back there. So that brings us into the living room area. If I can get the door closed behind me. Um, the living room here, we've got a good bit of natural light here as well. Flanking windows on each side of this uh, electric fireplace here, which we'll get into in a minute. We did a piano window up high here as well, um, which was actually a late request there by the customer. Um, after our electrical walkthrough, we kind of came through and decided that it needed just a little bit more light. So we added that window in and... Um, We've done this nice uh, fireplace around here, a little bit of stone um, and on the bottom part. And then this mantle here is actually finished very similarly to uh, the timber that you saw out front. So again, just a little bit of a nod uh, from the exterior to the interior and just a nice clean shiplap detail above, nothing uh, too overly fancy. Uh, and you'll note here as well, no TV connection above there. Uh, this customer in particular wanted to hang some artwork above there. They do not want their TV above their fireplace, so um, it's not exactly one size fits all, and uh, each customer is different in that regard, so that's why we do electrical walkthroughs. Up in here we've got this uh, tray ceiling, just nicely finished out with a little bit of crown molding, um, some pot lights, four pot lights up in that tray there, um, just to sort of define the uh, room as a living room, even though it's open concept, it visually defines that as a living room, as opposed to all these other rooms that are kind of coming off shooting from that. So, um, and then I'll just bring you in and I sort of skipped over the uh, stairwell here. Uh, just very, very simple on the railing. Um, we just did a nice black round metal spindles here, painted railing, keep it looking clean. Um, nothing too overly splashy there, but uh, still very, very tasteful as well. Um, and then just through here, we've got the laundry slash mud room. Um, so straight ahead, uh, you can see the laundry area there. We did have a slight mix up on these doors here, so just ignore that. But there is a couple of uh, cabinet doors coming for there uh, that are just on back order, which will match these cabinets up in here. A little bit of a drying rack above there as well, and just a nice functional space there uh, for the laundry room. Of course, this door goes to the garage, and then we've got a little bit of a coat closet here as well. Um, and so we'll take you out to the garage here real quick. Whoops, if I can get some lights on here. Here we go. Okay, so good size garage here. We've got a, uh, I believe it's an 18 foot uh, overhead door here. And as, uh, as you can see from the front, you've got these nice windows here above that are letting a little bit of light in, uh, which is kind of critical as well because of the grading of this lot. Um, we weren't able to get a door out the side or uh, decided not to do a door out the side. So this gives a little bit more natural light to the space, which is nice. Um, and then of course we've done our uh, easy liner PVC panel system in here, uh, which just keeps everything looking really clean. Uh, back over in here, a customer has some plans to do a workbench here. Uh, so we've got some receptacles up high and some added uh, power elements there as well. And then there is gonna be a future electric heater. So we've got a supply there for that as well. Hose bib, um, all that good stuff. And then we've got our jack shack. Uh, jack shaft opener uh, up here as well, which is a nice quiet touch and the reason why we do that when we have windows up above like this is just so that there's nothing really hanging down and, and visual that you can see from the outside of the house 
uh, when you look and see through those windows. So anyways, we'll take you back in and we'll head back towards the master bedroom area. So that's just around the corner here. We've got this slight little alcove area where we've got the uh, thermostat and ERV controls here. And then this comes into the master bedroom. Again, good size window in the master bedroom. Just some nice pot lights up in here. So that's a little different. A lot of times you'll have a, a center light fixture, but we decided to do some pot lights in this case. Um, so that window there looks out to the backyard and then we come around here and this is really really nice uh, ensuite bathroom so we've got a pocket door here coming into the ensuite bathroom and then we've got the walk-in closet which is just off of the ensuite with another pocket door there as well um, for lots of nice storage in the ensuite straight ahead of us we have the vanity centered sink um, and of course we've got the mirror hung up here and a nice light fixture in there as well. Uh, it's a really light colored bathroom here. We've got this nice vinyl, almost uh, marbly looking kind of floor here in white. And then just a nice light gray on the vanity there as well. Just beside the vanity, we've got the toilet. Um, and then we did a custom shower in here, which turned out looking really, really good. Um, the uh the tile a little bit of a tile border there and then just some nice simple white tile in there so um yeah that turned out looking really good just a nice four foot shower unit here uh with a little bit of a ledge on this side so you can store uh some shampoo and whatnot and then just right in behind me here uh we did this super custom uh, drop-in tub with surround. Um, so again, bringing in that board and batten kind of vertical look into the house from outside. Um, we did this nice surround and you can see it here at the bottom skirt as well. And then the deck and backsplash is uh, a marble, uh, man-made marble product. Uh, kind of looks like quartz and or whatever and uh, just a nice uh, clean look there uh, which gives us you know a lot of this light bright look that uh, matches in with the rest of the bathroom here so I can just show you from a different angle there you go there's your outside board and batten carrying right through the house which is a really cool look as well so nice ensuite bathroom in here um, we'll take you downstairs and show you the basement. So just heading down the stairs here just a nice carpet stair here nice and soft on the feet and then we enter in and this carpet comes into a laminate floor so this is all just one big rec room area here uh, we've got a connection over here for tv and all that so there's going to be a nice tv go there as i mentioned that won't be in the living room that will be down here um, so good big rec room uh, area in here with lots and lots of good size windows you can see throughout. Um, actually one thing I've not noted before is our window wells. We do these nice window wells, just a little tiny touch as opposed to seeing that shiny metal window well. These just have a skin on it that makes it look a little bit like stone and it just it's just something that's so simple um, but it really does change the look instead of looking at that big shiny uh, window well in there. Just across from me here, we've got a couple of storage closets. We kind of had in the plan a little bit of an awkward space here, and we decided to carry this wall right through and just create a couple of storage closets there because you can never have enough storage in a basement, and uh, it's turned out really well. Uh, we got one finished bedroom down here, which is just over in this area. So here's your finished bedroom, good size window. Got a little bit of a TV connection going on here as well, uh, because this uh, the occupant down here likes to watch TV at night, apparently. Um, and then right through here, we've actually got a full walk-in closet as well uh, for this bedroom down here, which is really nice. So lots of storage in the walk-in closet in this bedroom as well. And then we've got just beside the uh, bedroom, we've got a full three-piece bathroom. So just right here, we've got a, another linen closet and then the vanity here. Uh, so nice kind of dark, kind of bluey gray color on the vanity uh, and then toilet and nice acrylic shower there with a handle and a seat and all that good stuff as well. Actually, I'm missing the light. 
There we go. We always do a pot light in all of our showers and tubs um, just because it makes it a little bit more, um, I guess, inviting and uh, efficient. So anyways, uh, last but not least, I'm gonna just take you in through here uh, to the utility room. Uh, it's my favorite room in the house. So we've got, as usual, water softener. We live in the stone town here in St. Mary, so there's lots of lime in our water. We all need water softeners. Um, so we put a water softener in every single house. And uh, then here's the sump well here with the uh, um, sump pump that pumps up and out to the storm drain. We've got a manifold here with all of our different uh, gas lines and shutoffs and all that good stuff. Um, tankless water heater, condensing tankless water heater. We're pretty well doing this in every single house we do now. Uh, super efficient water heater there. Uh, which is very important. And then furnace over on this side. Again, our standard furnace is 96% efficient. Uh, Two-stage furnace with lots of uh, ECM motors and all kinds of, of uh, efficiency measures there as well. Um, and then just through here, we've got um, this HRV. Um, this is one of the last houses we're doing an HRV in, um, but the uh, the ventilation, of course, of these super tight houses, which this house tested under one air change per hour, which we're super thrilled with. We need to ventilate and bring air into the house um, at a constant rate. So then on this side, we've got our panel here. Everything's very neatly done. Um, all these Cat 6 outlets are all grand slammed to this location. Everything's very neatly tied in here. And it's a 200 amp panel. And then, of course, everything's Got a legend there, so showing where all these different circuits go to and all that good stuff. As usual, you've got a little bit of leftover flooring and things like that, some paint, which we keep under the stairs um, for warranty work. Anyways, guys, that's your tour for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you have any questions, just hit us in the comments and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, guys.